Emma, the other day I was having a chat to my mum, as I always do about oh, food. Okay. She had some fish and she had some bits and bobs in her fridge and she wasn't sure what to do. Yeah. And so this is where this recipe came from. It's a bit oh. of a one pot wonder. I had the freshest produce available. I got oh. this beautiful King George whiting. They now, are I love cooking with these. I think King George is an accurate way to yeah, describe them. They, they are, are the top of the whiting. Yep. And I think they suit roasting quite well. Oh, right. I've never had them roasting. They, well, they essentially steam because I'm going to put in the stock and I'm going to put yes. some beautiful Sauvignon Blanc in Oof. with it, make it a bit rich and Your decadent. Yes. So Emma, can you just get the pan on a high yes. heat? I'm just going to finely chop an onion. Now, I want the onion similar size to the grains of rice. A little bit fine. I'll leave that to him. You can do the fennel. Oh, thank you. Now, fennel, I just want some nice slices. Yeah. You know, my mum's not the only person I've given this recipe to. I, I like using this recipe. It suits me. Yeah because I think you get all this beautiful stock out of the fish when it's cooked. And why waste that? Let it absorb Absolutely. into the beautiful rice here. So I'll just get these onions a, a fine dice. Try and glug some oil into that pan. Just get to. going, get high heat. Try not to burn the onion though. Don't want that bitter flavour to don't want that go bitter through flavor. the whole thing. Because I don't want much colour in it, I don't mind putting the onion in when it's a low heat. Right. That's beautiful. It so, be do you want to do me a favour? Get all that into the pan for all me. All together. Quick sauté until it's nice and tender. Becoming translucent, then I'm going to add the rice into it. Bit of salt at this stage too. Absolutely. Draw, help draw the moisture out. So we're just going to sauté this down for five minutes at the most on a high heat. High Emma's heat. going to watch it the whole time so it doesn't burn. That's you. <laughs> and I'm going to get my King George whiting together. And then it will be pretty much by the time that's ready, it will all go in the oven. I like a trimmed fish, yes. I know, and it's pedantic, but I just, that's just me. Oh, so I've got the oven on a excellent. fan for 200 degrees Celsius. So hotty. Hot oven, because yeah. I want this to cook really quickly. Yeah. So it's going to be really, really quick. So I've just trimmed that one up. How's that looking? It looks nude. That's looking good. It's looking really good. A little bit more oil, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sauté the rice. And so the start of any good risotto base or rice base when you're doing this mm. is make a nice aromatic oil so when the rice hits it, the oil and the flavours can be transferred to that grain of Love rice. Love that. Yeah. So just all in. All like in. That. That's about a cup and a half of white rice. Any kind of rice? Any, I like long grain, basmati. Okay. Cool. If you want a big health kick, brown rice. So not risotto wild rice. rice. Not risotto rice. I don't okay. want the creaminess and the starch to okay. come out. So Emma's just going to keep moving that. And I want to take it to a point where you can't touch the rice yeah, you're anymore. Are telling me about this? Yeah, I think Tell that's me more. a... What is... Look, it's just all about absorbing flavour, yep. getting this dish really hot yep. before the fish goes in, Great. so it cooks in the same time. So in about two minutes, this is going to be ready. I can deglaze it with this beautiful wine, oh, which I'll get ready. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I love I deglazing stuff with wine. And when you deglaze with even. wine, you want to you want to evaporate the alcohol off, obviously, yes. because I don't want it to be a boozy dish. I just no. want the accent of wine. You know, a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc is going to cut through this dish and Everyone add a nice acidity. So my rice has come up to a temperature where it's quite hot to touch. Yep. I'm not really able to touch it. Yep. And that's when I know I want to deglaze yep. it. So I've got a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc here. Now the pan's got to be quite hot. So we'll just see. Ooh, that's perfect lovely. temperature. Hear that sizzle? It means the alcohol is going to evaporate it's off really quickly. Off. Yeah. Wow. So a good glug. Corner Ooh. of a cup of wine. Oh. So see how quickly that evaporates yeah. by a nice hot pan? And also, obviously, the rice is absorbing it at the same Yum. time. So, you know, everyone knows how to cook rice. Two to one. So one and a half cups of rice, three cups of fish stock. You could use chicken stock. You could even use water. Depending on what your palate's like. If you don't like overly fishily dishes, <laughs> use just water or chicken stock. Ah. So in with the stock. And I really noticed then, before you added the stock, that wine was pretty much all gone. There was no liquid left in the pan. Yeah, it was either absolutely. absorbed or... 
Yeah, yeah and that's exactly off. how you want it. You know, you want to cook the alcohol off on this dish. All the flavour. So I've got about three or four sprigs of dill. Yep. Straight in, it's going to infuse through the fish, and through, through the rice. Now you can just sit it down, Emma. Let's stop staring. Yep, just leave it. So here, you can see the stocks come up to the boil again. We're ready to go now. My beautiful King George whiting. Oh. Just going to nestle in the middle of this pan, like that. It's going to be great. Bit of salt at this stage over the fish, over the stock. Heat off. Heat off? Yep. Oh, That's so perfect. A nice firm wrap yeah. on this too. You can see okay. Emma, she's going to crease the edges over I so the steam gonna... doesn't escape. I might even do another layer on that. Another bit. layer? Yeah. No, oh, no. Oh, really? That okay. can do. All right. Just crimp the edges, so fold them up tight. It's good to have a pan that has a lip for this dish. So the elf oil can really clamp down on it and oh, stop Oh, you could use a lid, couldn't you? Well? Yeah, yeah, if you had a pan with a lid that was big enough, absolutely. So I've got a hot oven. That's yeah. boiled for about five minutes already. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. by the time we've got 15 minutes in the sense. oven, it's all going to be ready. I love it. The set and forget. It is. Midweek dinner, like easy. The fish has been about 20 minutes in the oven. It's time to get out now, Emma. I can do that. Oh, you can smell it. Smells it. The delicious. The white wine, the fish, it's just, oh, it's made the room so wow. aromatic. So just get the elf oil off. Look that, that is perfect. Look at and that that's steam. all done. In, it's absolutely beautiful. So now just to finish this off, I'm going to serve it in this beautiful big pan. Yeah, I would too. So just slide this dill out. Yeah. Just like that. I'm just going to put a few knobs of butter around. By the time it gets to the table, they're going to be absorbed in. A little Beautiful. bit of olive oil. Freshly cracked pepper now, mm. straight over the top. And this is it. This is my great, simple Yum. little fish dish that's all in one. You don't have to think about the sides, what it pairs with. Start the rice like a risotto, put some stock and some beautiful wine in and just take it to the table like that. You give it a oh. scattering of fresh parsley, fresh fennel fronds. That rice is really good. The rice is delicious. You were really doubtful good. whether it cooked in 20 minutes, no. but as you can see, really you get good. everything hot before you put it in the oven. So easy. And it's done. And I of course, it. serving your food oh. with the wine you cook with, Sauvignon Blanc. Fabulous. It's going to carry all the flavours through and layer it up. I can't wait to eat this properly, like get right into it. Nick it's off. a real simple, you could serve this in the dead of winter or you could serve it on a summer's afternoon. You could. Trans Seasonal. Cheers. Cheers.